first visit to San Francisco. Now, I grew up in Boston. I lived overseas for a little while for high school, and I came out to California for my first time at 17. I started off at a community college in LA, and I transferred up to Davis to be an electrical engineering student. One summer, I got an opportunity to do an internship at Lawrence Livermore Lab as a systems integration engineer. I didn't really know what it was, but I paid 22 bucks an hour. Broke college kid, so I'm pretty good. The problem was, I had to find an apartment. I quickly found uh, that there was an apartment available that I was willing to rent to college students for three months, but it was about $1,500. It's a lot of money for a college kid to pony up. So I asked the, the landlord, and they told me that actually there were two other students who did have an apartment there, and they were looking for a third party person to rent from them. So I asked them if I asked the property manager to hook me up with that person, and sure enough, they introduced me to, to Peter and John. I ended up staying with Peter and John. Got to know them. We would go to the lab together because they also worked there, and we didn't have a car, so often we just kind of hang out, play squash to other people. One time, a friend of John's came in from out of town. And we, uh, well, they planned for actually to go to a concert, and they invited me. And I didn't have much to do. I said, what kind of concert is it? They said, it's a Green Day concert. I said, Green Day? Didn't really strike a bell. Don't know much about the weather and climate control. <laughs> <laughs> but they explained to me that it was, no, it was actually a rock concert. Well, I'm kind of a hip-hop, kind of R&B, rap music kind of guy. I don't know much about rock. <laughs> but, what the heck, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> so, I decided to tag along, tag along with these three guys. <laughs> we got onto the bar. That was the first time I ever got on a train in California. It took us into San Francisco. We got out somewhere, I think it was a civic center. And there was this big auditorium. I think it was called the Billy Graham Auditorium, if I'm not mistaken. Walked in there, this place was massive. It could probably fit three basketball courts in there. It had a balcony running across the top. It's packed with people up there. Down here was just standing room only. Everybody was just jumping around. <laughs> and upstage was a band that was just rocking it out. And here I was, walking in. And the crowd was so thick that you just had to kind of cut through and slide between people. Before long, I lost uh, Peter and John. I was kind of on my own. There was a bit of a, a circle that formed somewhere in the, in, the, in the concert. People would kind of clear out. It was called a mosh pit, I later learned. <laughs> and so people would kind of just go in there and they'd jump around and bump off each other. I was like, man, this is just like the music video I probably once saw. So I jumped in there, thinking I can bump around with people. And uh, people just kind of avoided me. And they would jump around, and I'd be ready to bang it out with somebody or bump into them. And people just kept avoiding me. So I stepped out of the circle eventually. Well, it kind of wasn't my cup of tea. Then, at some point I remember, the lead singer on stage asked if anybody wanted to play the guitar up here for the next song. <laughs> and sure enough, apparently everybody in there plays guitar, because everybody raised their hands, except me. Because I could barely play the piano. <coughs> And he just looked into the crowd, looking for somebody to pick. Now, doing electrical engineering and taking a lot of calculus and math classes, it would seem logical to me that you'd probably pick the person closest to the front stage, you know, just move the little you know, railing, let him on stage. But instead, the lead singer said to somebody in the far back on the upper balcony, hey, you in the balcony. If you're willing to jump off there, I'll let you play. Now, we're talking about a balcony that's probably about up there, and you'd have to jump off. I once broke my foot jumping off a roof. 
<laughs> so his chances, I don't know. As soon as he said that, his girlfriend, the girlfriend of the guy who was sitting on the balcony, quickly grabbed her boyfriend. She said, don't do it. <laughs> don't jump. <laughs> Next you know, the crowd turned around and said, jump, 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 jump. <laughs> I got to say, compared to a hip-hop concert, this is a lot different. <laughs> At a hip-hop concert, if... Somebody gets on the edge and threatens to jump. Everybody else is just getting out of the way. <laughs> but what was different was, this time the lead singer said, everybody crowd around and catch him. Oh. And so this guy pushed his girlfriend away. Because <laughs> this was his chance to play with Green Day. Would you jump if you had a chance to play with Green Day? <laughs> Expert opinion. So the guy gets on the edge of the balcony. He steps up onto it, puts his hands out like Jesus on the cross. And the audience is yelling, jump, 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 jump! All of a sudden, he just let go of himself. I hadn't been to a funeral in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to be at one today. I kind of lost focus of what happened at that point. Because all of a sudden, the crowd just kind of picked up. The band started playing another song. And before you knew it, another mosh pit was forming. And the crowd just started swaying a lot more than before. And I kind of felt like people were pushing me a little bit on this side, on my right side. And before I knew it, there was a man who was surfing on top of people. And people were passing him along and passing him along. And before I realized it, it was the guy who jumped. Hmm. And they pushed him onto the stage. And he got up there, and they handed him a guitar, and he <laughs> and rocked out. And I said to myself, man, rock concerts are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and he played that song so well, and the crowd just kind of jumped it out. And before I knew it, I was having the time of my life. <laughs> and sure enough, the concert eventually came to an end, and everybody started going home. Now, I stuck out like a sore thumb. I was like a, a bean in a rice bag. <laughs> so it wasn't hard for John and Peter to fight me. Eventually, like, hey, dude, let's go. They grabbed me, and we left the stadium, and we caught the last Bart <laughs> out of San Francisco. Thank you. <laughs>